today I'm super excited to be here in Chicago interviewing Mr. Bill Cook, who's an amazing magician, appearing in season six of Masters of Illusion. Actor Dean Kane hosts this mystifying series featuring escape artists, cutting edge illusionists, and talented performers. In front of a studio audience, these modern magicians demonstrate their amazing skills with performances that include interactive magic tricks, astounding escapes, large-scale illusions, and some really funny comedy routines mixed in. Hi! Hi! It's great to meet you! It's, it's fun to be here. Thanks for, thanks for asking me to be a part of this. Yes, for sure. Now, I'm going to ask a couple questions. Uh, is that okay with you? Shoot, let's do it. Alrighty. So, you're in the... Uh, the Masters of Illusion. So what does season six look like? So season six of Masters of Illusion is honestly my favorite season so far. There's 40 magicians from across the world. They're magicians, escape artists, mind readers, mentalists, close-up performers, grand stage performers, men, women, everybody is performing on this season. It's, I think, the most diverse season of Masters of Illusion. I think it's the most diverse I would say, magic television show so far. So how is season one different from season six? Well, different performers, um, but also a lot of the same. The magic that we're all doing is all different. Um, I mean, it's on the same great network, but I, honestly, any time you get in front of a live audience, it's different. Right. Every time you get in front of a live audience, something is different. So even if your show hasn't changed, your show is different based on the people that are sitting in the audience. Yeah, okay, so, and when, when you're choosing people to come up to, like, to join you and do tricks with you, is there anything you look for? Oh, of course. Um, let's say I want to pick you from the audience. Mm -hmm. First thing, so, okay. There's a there's a weird kind of notion magic. It's like a wedding. Like you can't see the bride before she comes out. Otherwise, it's bad luck. Mm -hmm. Well, for some reason, magicians are, are like that a lot. They want to stay kind of hidden behind the curtain and don't want to. Nah, if I if I could have my way, I would open the door to the to wherever we're recording or the theater and be like, no, come in. Hi, I'm Bill. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. And I'm not scouting or scoping, but I'm also looking to see if like, will that person. Um, is going to have a hard time coming up on stage, or um, when I talk to this person, are they reluctant to talk back to me? Right. So if I say, hi, I'm Bill, it's nice to meet you, and I get met with... Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Catherine, it's well, nice guess, to meet you too. In my mind, that is saying, oh, she will look me in the eye and she'll talk to me. Amazing, I'm I better chance of me picking you. Right. Now act shy. Hi, I'm Bill, it's nice to meet you. Guess who's not coming up to play today? You know, if you're willing to look at me and you're willing to talk to me, then I'm willing right. to. I'm more willing to pick you. And what kind of got you started in all the magic magician stuff? I started into magic on accident. I was nine years old, and my third grade teacher gave us a homework assignment over spring break. Mm -hmm. Now, automatically, I was upset because we were going to Disney for my spring break. Right. And I am now having to do homework before I could see the mouse. Doesn't matter. Uh, we had to do a book report or a report on somebody famous. And I pulled a name out of a hat that I had never heard of. It was Bobby Fischer. Now, Bobby Fischer uh, was a chess master, one of the greatest chess players of all time. Mm -hmm. And I knew that the books at the library, uh, the chess books were at the library. So I went to the library to find the chess books. And in the Dewey Decimal System, that's the way the books are laid out. Right, yeah. The um, the chess books are next to the magic books by one number. And someone, I don't know if it was someone wasn't paying attention or someone just took one out and put it away, they put a magic book in with the chess books. Oh, uh, so that, you picked that up? It was an that? accident. I took it home with me on accident. And it's sitting on my bookshelf. <laughs> it's I, I didn't take that one home, but I, I did buy that book eventually. It's on my bookshelf. And that book gave me a career. That that report, that project, changed my life. That's really cool. It's like life-changing experiences. And you were very young, very young. And so what was the first magic trick you saw, maybe on TV, It doesn't that you can remember at least? Oh, boy. First magic trick that I remember seeing is David Copperfield flying. I rem that's the first magic trick, like... David Copperfield flying through the air. That that will always be the first trick I remember. 
I couldn't tell you the first trick I saw. I remember when I was maybe six or seven or eight, over Thanksgiving weekend, they would always do these shows called The World's Greatest Magic. Mm -hmm. It was another TV show, and the it, it was a showcase of magicians, and there was a guy who would... He had he would wear masks, and then his masks would change would multiply and change colors. And then after his masks, he went into a card manipulation routine, where uh, playing cards would appear and disappear and multiply his fingers. And then when I turned sixteen, I read in Magic Magazine, uh, an old Magic Mag an old Magic Magazine, um, that he was going to be hosting a seminar in Las Vegas at a convention. And I said, the guy that does the masks, I remember that guy. I want to go learn from him. Mm -hmm. And he has since become my mentor. His name is Jeff McBride. He runs a magic school in Las Vegas. That's really cool. Yeah. Who, who is your favorite magician? Ooh, that's like asking a parent who their favorite child is. It's very um, good. I've got so many for so many different reasons. Uh, alive, I'd have to say my favorite magician, there's so many. There's so many that are alive, and the, the problem is I'm friends with them. So if I <laughs> if I say one, I better say them all. Um, but definitely on my list, are, you know, David Copperfield's definitely on my list. David Blaine is on my list. Uh, David Blaine was the first magician that really, like... So wait, you can do magic on street. On the street, that means I can do magic at school. So that, like, gave me... Per watching David gave me permission to start doing magic outside of, like, a paid performance setting, I guess. Um, Jeff McBride, my mentor. Uh, Bill Abbott, a Canadian magician. Sean Farquhar, a Canadian magician. There are so many magicians. Uh, uh, Greg Gleason, he's on Masters of Illusion this season, mm -hmm. one of my favorites. Uh, Farrell Dillon on, on this season, one of my favorites. Jonathan Pendragon, one of my favorites on this season. So what's cool about Masters is not only do I get to have favorite magicians, but I get to work alongside of them. So, um, but I think of all time, a magician named Tommy Wonder, um, he was from Holland, uh, Amsterdam. He, uh, he has since passed away, but the way he thought and the way he was able to think about magic, that would be my favorite. And is there any favorite magic trick you like to do? Can the questions get any harder? <laughs> um, man, I would say the trick that I did when I tried to fool Penn and Teller. Um, that would be my favorite. It, it's a, it's a, 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 the top of a, a coin purse, top of a change holder, mm -hmm. and uh, an invisible deck of playing cards. So really, the trick is my is it's a lot of my personality, and it's a lot of jokes, and it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of humor. Mm -hmm. until the playing card that the person helping me was just thinking of comes out of just the clasp from the change purse, and it is the one they were thinking about. So it, it almost lulls you into false sense of, like, okay, I'll just play along. And and so you're a magician. Can you do a magic trick for us? Sure. Um, okay. Okay, you just have something right here. Okay. <laughs> I had a feeling you were going to ask. Uh, I caught something. Okay. In here. Uh, he's my pet. Your pet, okay. His name is Gus. Gus. Yeah. I don't know why I named him Gus. That was the first name that came to mind, because he looks like a Gus. Humor me. Hold your hands out like a table. Okay. And curl your fingers around the front, and put your thumbs on the back so it doesn't, like, like fall. Perfect. Okay. Got Gus. Okay. Fantastic. Gus, behave. Okay. Alright, buddy, do your thing. He tends to be a fairly shy... Or not. Nope. So this is my friend, Gus. I caught him in my attic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I, I said he's cute. Would you like to see him? Sure. Alright. There he is, right there in front of your face. Yeah. You don't believe me in the slightest. That's okay. No. <laughs> I think he's cute because I okay. I can be used to it. Come on. Come on. Oh, thank you very much. Oh. Yeah, you're very you're very kind. Now go back in the box. No, in the box. Can you hold the box a little higher, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. In the box. 
How about this? For being a good boy, I'll give you. Uh, we'll take you to Lou Malnati's later. <laughs> that's really cool. Oh, that's my Gus. So. That's Gus, everyone. All of my questions, except where can we find you? I'm right here. On TV. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you, <Or anywhere. laughs> you can find me on this year's season of Masters of Illusion. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also find me on all social media at Bill Cook Magic. You can check out my website. BillCookMagic.com, and you can find me on the Kids First YouTube channel. All right, well, because I'm interviewing him, <laughs> and it was so great to talk to you. Thanks for being here, and thanks for asking really great questions. Oh, well, thank you for having me. This is Catherine reporting for Kids First. Make sure to check out some of our other youth reporters and videos and reviews, and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did because I had so much fun. Thanks. And make sure you check out Masters of Illusion Season 6 on the CW Network, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, hosted by Dean Kane and starring 40 of the world's greatest magicians. Make sure you watch it because it is pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>